Hi, Augustine, how are you today? Hi, I'm good, how are you? I'm great. Oh, thank you for such a beautiful romantic film. It was just what I needed. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I've never read one of Jojo's books that I haven't loved. What was it for you when you first read this? What, you know, what struck you and connected with you? Well, I, to be perfectly honest, when I was sent the script, I'd never read any of her books and I'd never, I'd never heard of her, which is, I can't believe that's the case. And so I read the script and I was like, what is this? It was so romantic and it was unapologetic in that. And it was also about these two incredible women and the detail and, and who these women were and what they wanted and what they were searching for was so rich and just, it was, it was so unusual. And, and from there I discovered Jojo and just started like reading her books. I was like, oh, she's so brilliant. I feel so good when I read her work you yes. get to cry most of the time, which I'm always looking for. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. I, I've read that you like leak um, hormones, like excess hormones when you cry. And so I think it's beneficial to get a good cry. So anyway, yeah. So it was just all the, the women and, you know, the time and the place and all yeah. these things I linked to. And the letter writing. I mean, look, oh. we didn't do that anymore. And I'll never forget as a young girl going to camp, I couldn't wait to get letters from my parents. I couldn't wait to, as I got older, I always was a letter writer. Um, how, do you agree that this is something that we need to come back? Yes, my God, yes, 100%. There's something about tactile physical connection there's an energy to it that you don't have on a phone and you don't have on a computer it's something that has been felt and touched by another person and many people on the way to make it to you and that it carries an energetic force that it, it's just irreplaceable yeah I think we should yeah um of course you know Shailene and Felicity are just wonderful and they're playing you know it's almost like you're making two separate films here you know one set early in the 60s and then more present day. What was the challenge for you finding that balance and making sure that you, you know, were even handed on them both? Yeah, I think the biggest challenge was just um, making sure it never felt jarring and that you understood what the connection was between these two women. And so we worked on that a lot in the edit and it all felt like it was there in the script and it was there, you know, when I had conversations with Felicity and Shailene. And then, you know, when we got to the edit, we were constantly like recalculating and tabulating, like what does this need where and how do we make it even? And just a lot of, you know, tweaking and back and forth. Yeah, and then they both have these fabulous romantic interests. And it, to me, it felt like chemistry was instant on both cases, was it? <laughs> yeah, completely, <laughs> completely. I, you always hope for that. And you meet with the actors and you get a feel for their vibe. Um, and, and you hope that when they come together that that, that exists. And I absolutely felt it did but then additionally you know we had a lot of time outside of set to hang out and mm -hmm. and we had dinners together and and we had a lot of talks and they hung out separately on their own and so it really was um something that the actors brought with them and and that also just existed within them yeah aside from uh, just just loving the story and everything um shailene's wardrobe Okay, discuss. She looked better and better in each scene. Everything that she put on, it was just as if it was made for her. That's incredible. It's beautiful. It was. <laughs> yeah, like the majority of the costumes, uh, my goal was like, I knew that there's this great film um, from the 60s. It's called Last Year at Mary and Dad. And every costume is sublime. And they were all designed by Chanel. And I told my costume center, Anna Robbins, I was like, can we do that? And she's like, well, <laughs> she has like a lot of costumes, but she really did. A, I mean, everything that the, a large majority of what Shailene wore was designed by by Anna and drawn and sketched and based on, you know, these films, the costumes from films that I loved. And then everything else she, you know, she found all these incredible um, vintage suits and vintage pieces that were custom, you know, um, uh, tailored to fit Shailene and, and it all just worked well. I have to wrap really quickly, but the last letter that you received, do you recall? Uh, the last letter in the mail. Um, oh God. Uh, <laughs> it's really hard. I mean, um, 
Well, actually, I got a thank you note from my sister-in-law for some gifts that we sent for her kids. And they, my husband's family are all incre incredible artists and they all send handwritten notes and it's very special. That is very lovely. Well, congratulations. What an honor to talk to you today, Augustine. It's such a beautiful film and best of luck with it. Thank you for your time today. <laughs>